takes a lot of skill, a lot of focus, and understanding of the body language of this animal. If I didn't understand the body language of this animal, I would have been bitten already. Because I would have made a mistake, misjudged the body language, and I would have been bitten years ago. Hear the growl? King Cobras are the only species of snake on the planet that can actually growl. They have a modified trachea to allow them to do this. And who's going to hear that? How cool is that? going on beautiful people I am sorry I did not film an intro for this video I actually just got back from Australia and I'm giving Kevin a soak so I just want to say what's going on beautiful people enjoy the feeding video and I'll see you in a split second all right guys come look Kevin's right here his belly is looking opaque as if he's gonna shed but man he has not pushed through a shed yet I want to give him a good soak apply more Lotrimin to his chin and then I'm going to go prepare a nice sized Burmese python for him to go go ahead and munch down after we're done taking care of him. So what I'm going to have to do is take him out of the enclosure and let's get the party started. Hey Kevin. So rundown for anyone who's new to the channel. This is Kevin the King Cobra, Ophiophagus Hannah, the longest largest species of venomous reptile on the planet. Well, actually, I should take that back. The longest, largest species of venomous snake on the planet is the Komodo dragon, which, which does possess a, a venom. Relax. He's making a bit of a mess, but that's fine. At the end of the day. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'm going to put him on the ground just for a second so I can get a good look at him. Relax, relax. I'm going to let him crawl around. There you go. So you can see Kevin. He's got good body size to him. He's a beautiful Malaysian King Cobra. And he should be around 7 to 10 years old. Not sure on a specific age because I did not rear this animal from a little neonate, little baby. I got him around 11 feet long and now he's nearly... 14 feet long of venomous snake. He's a beast. He's a prized animal to me. I love him so much. And he's actually the first ever King Cobra that I've owned under my license. Technically, I've bought King Cobras in the past when I released those King Cobras in Thailand. If you guys haven't checked out that video, definitely check it out. Awesome time out in Thailand. Went to a Went to a snake farm out there that was illegally collecting king cobras for over the amount of time they were allowed to. And we ended up buying all the king cobras off of them and releasing them back into the wild. So that was a cool opportunity to let king cobras go back into their natural habitat. So Kevin, oh, don't mean to restrain you, sorry. Just don't want you loose on my arm. So I'm gonna put him right into his tub right here. There we go. It might take a second, but that's okay. There we go. That's okay. Relax. Relax. It's a whole lot of snake <laughs> trying to put in one can. Oh! Relax, 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 relax. Are you going to behave? Come on. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, watch your knees. Oh, please don't bite me in my knees. All right, guys, now I'm just gonna soak for about mm, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'm just gonna make sure his enclosure's nice and clean. He's got fresh water in his water bowl, which is right over here. And then, after all the fun, he's gonna come out, get Lotrimin on his chin, be put away, and then Justina's gonna get a nice soak as well. If you don't know Justina, she is my female Indonesian King Cobra, 
and she's actually one of the first King Cobras I worked with to get my hours for my licenses here in Florida. So it's pretty neat that I was able to get her later on down the road and work with her, be able to own her. So we have, we have quite the history with each other. I used to have her put it up in my face, mouth open when I was 18, and there's actually a shot somewhere of me when I was 18. She's opened up my face with her mouth, and her tongue is nearly hitting my nose, and the breath coming off her extended trachea was hitting my nose. So she's definitely got a lot of, a lot of spunk in her, and I love her a lot. So she's an awesome King Cobra. Very defensive, not aggressive. So let's go see what's going on with these Burmese pythons. They're defrosting. I'm going to defrost them, feed them to my King Cobras. If you're not familiar with the situation, sounds kind of odd. King Cobras are from Southeast Asia, as well as the Burmese python. Burmese pythons are invasive here in South Florida in the Everglades. They escaped because of large breeding facilities back in the day were destroyed by hurricanes, along with some irresponsible pet owners releasing them into the wild. The big problem is just that they've developed a breeding population out here. They are well established. There are lots of them out here. So, whenever people hunt Burmese pythons and remove them from the Everglades, usually they have nothing to do with the meat. Most people just throw the carcasses away and keep the skin, but the good thing about these King Cobras is they like the meat, the bones, the organs, all that good stuff, because out in the wild, the King Cobra naturally feeds upon Burmese pythons. So, where there's a big problem in the Everglades, I see a solution for my hungry King Cobras, and that is why we feed Burmese pythons to the King Cobras. There are too many of them out in the Everglades to be rehomed. I see there's a lot of people out there that want them to be rehomed, but you got to understand there are crap ton of Burmese pythons on the Everglades. Literally, if you have the right spot, you've got the right time of year, you can find anywhere from two to six Burmese pythons in a night. And then you look around and you're like, where's all the native stuff? So they're not good for the ecosystem and they're great for the diet of King Cobra. That's why my King Cobras look so uh, muy caliente, uh, very spicy, very beautiful, very nice. I love them dearly. And let's go see if this, uh, these hors d'oeuvres are done to frost. Oh, by the way, the reason I say defrosting is because we freeze the Burmese pythons to kill off every parasite in the body within a month of being in the freezer so it doesn't transfer to my animals because if they eat it, now they have those parasites. So, let's get on out of here. Hey Finn, fly over turtle, flying around. Let's fly on over to the outdoor area. Yes, you It sounds like Stephen's hungry. Here's Stephen. Relax, Stephen. Relax. Now go. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. Hi, Panda! Alright, I don't want to. Enough. Enough. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, Steven's been a little bit cantankerous lately because I give the snakes and the crocs more attention than the laces. Anyways, so I've got these Burmese pythons right here. They are defrosted. Let's see, let me put that shit down here so it doesn't drip into the enclosure. So right here, this is probably a four foot python. This will be for Justina, my female Indonesian king cobra. And this Burmese python, I believe there's a little knife cut on the head. Yeah. And then the other one's got a little knife cut on the head too. That's probably how they put them down. So yeah, the Burmese pythons are invasive species. They don't belong here. There are so many out in the Everglades. We have to do whatever we can to get everyone we see out of the Everglades. Now, so what I've got right here is the other Burmese python for Kevin because he's larger, but this python was around seven, eight feet long. So he cannot eat something that big. He has in the past, but just too much for him to digest. So I've cut it in half. I'm sorry for anyone who is out there who's very sensitive to things like this, but like I said, this is an animal that had to be put down, it's not supposed to be here, it's going to be rehomed, and now it's providing food for my big, large king cobra. A nice meal. So, we are going to put these down because they are scrumptious and smell delicious. So, over here, Kevin's been soaking, it's been like 30, 40 minutes. And what I want to do is take him out, dry his face off, apply Lotrimin to his chin to help with the minor fungal infection he's got. And then I'm going to put him in his enclosure, let him settle down, take Justine out, soak her, put her back in her enclosure, and once they all settle down and they've relaxed, I'm going to give them those Burmese pythons as a nice little treat for being so well behaved. Just kidding, they're not that well behaved. Kevin's okay. Justina's a little uh, spicy mama mia. She's a... Uh, 
Ooh, she's a future ex-wife, if you know what I mean. Ooh, mama mia. Okay, doke, as they say in origato Japanese. Uh, I got my hook right here, which is trash. Oh, crap, why did I do that? Don't tell Matt, he painted that wall. Anyways, let me pop that off, see where he's at. There we go. Check it out. So Kevin's right here. He is hanging out. His upper body is on this lip right here. But as you can see, he is aware of what's going on. He's hooding. Relax, relax. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. Just a little up right now. There we go. Just to get him out a little bit. Now I'm going to get some paper towel, dry his face off, get some low trim right here. Just drying the chin off before applying the lotion. That should be good. Alright. I'm not restraining him. I'm just holding his neck in place, guiding him. I don't want to put full restraint on his neck and make him feel threatened. Alright guys, I got Kevin to relax just a bit more, come on. Come on. There we go. More on that chin. There we go. It takes a lot of skill, a lot of focus, and understanding of the body language of this animal. If I didn't understand the body language of this animal, I would have been bitten already. Because I've made a mistake, misjudged the body language, and I would have been bitten years ago. And that's why, luckily, over my young career of handling venomous reptiles, crocodiles, and alligators, I've been very fortunate not to get bitten, envenomated, all that fun stuff. Good, so we've got all the lotrimin on them. My fingers are a little bit covered in it. Alright, we're going to put him right back in his enclosure now, let him relax, and we're going to move on to Justina. There we go. Alright, Kevin, you take a breather, and we'll have your meal in about 30 minutes, or about an hour. Your meal will be ready to eat. That is Kevin, the King Cobra. Let me close his cage. There we go. My fingers are really slippery. I'll oh, see you guys after I clean my fingers. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. <sighs> Time to take Justine out. Beautiful looking Indonesian King Cobra that I named Justina after Justin, my good friend that raised this King Cobra from about six feet to around 10 feet until he ended up selling this king cover to another venomous keeper, and then eventually that venomous keeper decided he did not want the king cover anymore, and then Justina came home to me. So, this is Justina, the Indonesian king cover. Look, she is on fire. Look how beautiful she is. She shed, oh, you hear, hear the growling? King covers are the only species of snake on the planet that can actually growl. They have a modified trachea to allow them to do this. And she is content. You hear that? How cool is that? A growling king cobra. Come here, grumpy. All right, there we go. This is Justina. Look, she's real upset today. You hear? She's growling like crazy. Let's see if she'll check you guys out. Look at that. She's 
She's like, what's going on, Meatball Clan? Can I give you a nibble? Can I give you a nibble? Look at that. A lot of you guys wonder what it would be like to be a camera operator for Chandler's Wildlife, and I can tell you one thing. You better order a lot of underwear and make sure it's the color black or brown. So, let's put Justina into the can. There we go. Oh, Justina, on the loose. It's okay, it's Justina. Oh, we got these two hands for this. She's on fire today. She's not having it. Okay, perfect. There you go. Justina, the cantankerous, feisty, lovely, beautiful, marvelous king cobra. Fantastic. Now let her soak in there. Calm down. Think about why she's so angry. All right, so we've got fresh water in here. The cage is cleaned. So Justina can go back in her enclosure. Let me just move this. And let's see where Justina is at. Who's this snake hook? Okay, so check this out. She's underwater, and she's completely soaking her head. She's drinking up water. She's deep down in that water. So I'm actually going to let her be for a couple moments. Let her keep soaking that good stuff up, and then we're going to pull her out. All right, guys. She has started to pop her head up. Slowly come over here, and you can check her out. She's popped her head up. She's getting a breath. She got a nice soak. She's drinking lots of water, and now she's getting big breaths after hanging out underwater. Now it's starting to sound more of like a growl. She's well aware of what's going on. So let me reach inside. Hey, sweetie. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Look how insane the coloration is on top. These are what's called chevrons, these bands going down the King Cobra. They are beautiful. On this one, it's a very light, light yellow, nearly white. Look at that. Beautiful looking King Cobra. I see you. And I hear you too. I will put her right into the enclosure. I don't want to upset her too much because she's getting a meal in an hour. Right back into your tortoise shell. Or not. You can go wherever you like. <laughs> well, I hear you. Don't worry. I have something that's going to make you really happy. Your favorite food. Awesome. So we're going to let them be, let them relax. She's like, I'll show you relaxed. So she's gonna get a nice Burmese python meal that we've got over here. We're just gonna let them be for about an hour. Come back, and we're gonna feed them. So get ready to see some delicioso snake feedings. Boom! Lit up. Now you guys can get a good look at Justine as she eats her food. Let me see, grab this guy by the tail. A nice, delicious Burmese python. The lovely pleasures of keeping king cobras and uh, giving them what they want. All right, so I'm gonna offer her the food. See what she thinks. It's your favorite. Oh, okay, all right. Watch her munch down on her food.
and right down the hatch guys Justina is never reluctant to eat she is a beast look at her all right guys now I'm gonna give Kevin his bite on oh very juicy That's a good meal for him. Ugh. And I'm gonna leave it right here. And flip so it looks like it's alive. There we go, there we go. Oh, you get it. There we go, Lee. Don't bite the tongs, bite the snake. Hi! Look, food. Have a nibble. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's tasting it, he's figuring it out. He's gonna bite it right on the neck most likely. Nobody move. Even the viewers at home. Don't move. I know. It's cut up. It's not a whole python like you like, but that's a whole lot of food right there. Go ahead, take a nibble. Take a little nibble. Alright guys, Justina's done eating. Kevin has not finished yet. So, I'm just going to lock up Justina's enclosure. Let her be. Put her little privacy sheets right back down. There we go. Go. So now she can be nice and comfy while she digests her food and nobody disturbs her with the presence of people coming. We don't want her getting spooked while she's still digesting the meal. Here we go. So now she has her privacy. She slowly gets used to people walking by with her little opening. And Kevin still has not eaten the food. We're going to see if we can get this on footage. So for now, we're going to leave, come back in about 10 minutes, see what we can get. In the meantime, I got some dishes to clean and some, 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 some to clean. Guys, it looks like Kevin's not interested in eating in our presence, so I'm gonna leave the python in there, let him be. It's more important for him to eat than me to get on the film. So I'm gonna let him be, lock up his cage, and I think that's gonna be a wrap for today's episode. So I will see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, be brave, and stay gangster.